I have to. Oh, it's an atomic yes. Sorry. Sure. Is this? I guess this falls under general species category. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a five to seven. You already know it. I'll change it a little bit. <laughs> to win the award, you have to do it between four, four thirty and seven. So, okay. okay. When I see the red light, I'll shut up. Has anyone here ever signed up to give a speech or committed to talk somewhere, but you didn't do it because you were nervous? I think we all maybe have done that at one time or another. You said, I'm going to talk or I'm going to do something or I'm going to get up in front of a group of people. But you didn't do it. But you were nervous. What I want to share with you today is that it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be nervous. It's part of being alive. I look at it, it's just like being hungry, or tired, or thirsty. Let's look at why we get nervous. <clears throat> Especially when it pertains to coming up here and talking, or doing something in front of a group of people. Why do we get nervous? Well, let me ask you this. If you were the only one in the room, and you got up, and you came up here, and you talked, would you be nervous? No. So let's see other people that are here. What happens is our mind thinks, well, what if I get up there, and I make a mistake, or do something I didn't plan on? That could be embarrassing. That could be painful. I don't want that. I want to try to avoid that. That's why we get nervous when we come up here, because we think, well, what if something happens? Our mind wonders. I want everyone here to pretend that we're having this same meeting right here on the roof. We're on the roof. We've got shade. It's comfortable. The temperature's nice. There's a nice breeze coming through. But we're on the roof, and there is no railing. There's nothing keeping us from falling off the side. What happens when you get up and walk around if you walk by the side? What do you do? Well, you see the drop. And the closer you get to the side, you think, oh, I want to be careful. Because you see that drop, and you think, well, if I fall, it's probably not going to kill me, but I'm going to go to the ER, and it's going to be a fun recovery time. <coughs> well, the same part of your mind that allows you to get nervous when you get closer to that edge because you could fall and hurt yourself. It's the same part of your mind <clears throat> that allows you to get nervous when you come up here and talk because it thinks, what if I make a mistake or what if something goes wrong? It could be painful. I could be embarrassed. Nobody likes to be embarrassed. But your mind can't tell the difference between the fall because that's painful, coming up here and making a mistake because that's painful. Your mind doesn't say, wait a second. If I fall, I'm going to be hurt and there's no potential benefit. But if I get up and speak, I'm going to learn to be a better communicator. I'm probably going to feel better about myself, probably going to make more money, probably going to have a better quality of life because I'm a better communicator. So I'm not going to allow you to be nervous when you come up, so you can come up and keep talking. Your mind doesn't do that. It just says, I'm nervous. So we get that feeling. But remember, it's okay to be nervous. It's natural. Everyone gets nervous when they come up here. It's just some people show it differently than others do. Now you have an idea of why we get nervous. The real question is, what do you do about it? What do you do about it? I think a lot of us here have the idea, maybe one day, we stay in Tulsa Masters long enough, they will come a time when we can get up and we can talk and we will not be nervous. It'll be the same as if we were in this room and no one was in it, and we got up here and talked, we would feel the exact same way as if it were full of people. I know that's what I used to think. <clears throat> Before when I started, I was like, I was so nervous right now. I want to get to the point where I can just come up and it's easy for me to talk. And I still get nervous when I come up. Now I've trained myself to not show it and do different things when I get nervous so it doesn't appear that I'm nervous. <clears throat> so what you can do about it, the first thing that you can do about it is you can tell yourself, it's okay for me to be nervous. Now, I want everyone to say this with me. 
And if I see anyone not saying it with me, I have a tough question I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to stare you until you answer it. <laughs> so I want everyone to say, it's okay to be nervous with me. On the count of three. One, two, three. It's, it's okay, okay to be nervous. nervous. Okay. It's okay for me to be nervous. Now the second thing you can do to help with being nervous when you come up here is you realize it's okay, is to come up here and keep doing it. Come up here and keep doing it. It gets a little easier each time. Because if you're saying, I don't want to be nervous, I'm afraid I want to run from it, that's going to prevent you from coming up here. But if you say, you know what, I accept it. It's okay for me to be nervous. Just like, it's okay for me to be hungry. It's okay for me to be tired or mad or happy. It's no different. Who here drove a car today? Almost everyone. Now let me ask you, were you nervous when you drove your car? Did you think, well, if I pull out, someone may hit me. If I get on the highway, what if I get into an accident? You did. Now who can remember back to the first time when they started driving their car? Did anyone start driving the first time you got in your car? Your first experience on the road, you were completely calm and relaxed and in control? I know I wasn't. I remember when I started driving, I was 15 and a half, I got my permit, I got the lowest grade possible to pass on the written test to get my permit, but I got it. And I drove on the side roads, the speed limit wasn't higher than 35 or 40, and I remember it was time to go on the highway. I was a little nervous about this. The highway is 60 miles per hour. It's fast, but I wanted to go fast. I remember my mom was in the car, and I got on the highway, it was on Highway 70, a little bit before rush hour, right in front of Lambert Airport. I remember getting on, I turned on to the exit to get on, cars are rushing by me, I look over, my heart's beating fast, I start to get nervous, I'm thinking, oh no, how do I know when to get over, I put my signal on, all of a sudden I feel my foot on the brake, I'm going to complete stop on the on-ramp, right there getting onto the highway, cars behind me are honking their horns, and I'm freaking out now, and I look and I, I see a gap, my mom just goes, go! So after about 10 seconds of sitting there, I just punched it and I got on. But I was incredibly nervous. I was sweating. My heart was beating fast. And looking back on that, what if I just stopped driving after that? Well, I'd have a tough time getting around. But looking back, is it's okay for that to happen. It's okay to be nervous. But I kept doing it, even though I was nervous. And I got better at it. When you think about giving a speech, when you come up, you have the opportunity to talk. There are open speaking slots today. Maybe you thought, well, what if it doesn't go exactly how I had it planned? Or what if it's not right or I make a mistake? Because I'm nervous, I'm going to pass or I'll do it next time. Because maybe you thought, well, it's not okay for me to be nervous. It's not okay for me to make a mistake. That's what I want to share with you. Whenever I leave, I want you to think next time you give a speech or you're thinking about doing it, think about me up here. And what I want you to remember is when you go to talk, just tell yourself, and you've already said it once, it's okay me to be nervous. Toastmaster. Richard reminded me that how nervous I was when 